In this video, we're going to talk about how to configure the Palo Alto to work as a Layer 2 device, or how to handle Layer 2 interfaces. Previously, we talked about creating a Layer 3 interface, which basically assigned an IP address uh, to a device which allowed it to do all the IP related items such as routing. In this case, with a Layer 2 device, instead of an IP address, we have a MAC address or Media Access Control address, uh, which allows us to do uh, switching as well as work with VLANs. So let's look to see how we might do that in our configuration. Previously, we've gone ahead and configured all of our devices. Let's see, this was Gigabit Ethernet 1, this was Ethernet 2, and then this was Ethernet 3, and that was pretty much all the interfaces we'd had configured. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Ethernets 4 and 5, and we'll just pretend that those are connected up to be able to work as a virtual switch. So let's see how we might be able to do that. First thing we do is back in the Palo Alto, we go to the networking tab and we start off by going to zones. Now we might initially think that we can go ahead and use one of these zones that we've already created, except when we look right there, we see the layer type is layer three. I'm sorry, the interface type is layer three. So we need to create a new zone called layer, or with a type of layer two. So I'll go ahead and add in here and let's call this, um, I don't know, test zone and then the type of layer two. So we'll go ahead and say, okay. And then we'll go back to our interfaces and we'll go ahead and specify ethernet 1-4 uh, interface type layer two. Now that we have that specified, our security zone is available to us and we can specify our test security zone. And that is all that's necessary. We could specify a VLAN here, but we haven't necessarily created any. So go ahead and say, okay. And then we go ahead and choose ethernet 1-5, same thing. Go ahead and change the interface type to layer two and the security zone to our test zone and say, okay, and then commit. By specifying both of those interfaces as being part of the same zone, that essentially puts them into the same switch. Uh, since they're in the same switch, everything that appears on one interface will be switched, if appropriate, to the second interface. Only if appropriate, it's switching. Uh, if you're not entirely sure how switching works, read up on it. Uh, we can go ahead and see, well, there we go. Ethernet's four and five, they're both layer two. The interfaces are active, their link is up, but the IP address is none because layer two devices do not have IP addresses associated with them.